Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of pathology. We are doing this from Medium Robbins and today uh, we are continuing skin disorders. Today's topic is malignant uh, skin tumors. We have already discussed um, benign conditions and preneoplastic conditions. Today we will focus on the cancerous condition and the first topic very high yield for exams is squamous cell carcinoma. In skin, there are many tumors in which squamous cell carcinoma is amongst the most common tumors. It is a common tumor that typically arises on the sun-exposed area, which means your hands, your face, your scalp, in older adults. So, these are important epidemiological uh, findings. Hai. These tumors have a higher incidence in men as compared to women. So, this is also important because, you know, there are certain diseases which are more common in females. There are certain diseases which are more common in males. This particular one is more common in males. Now, cutaneous squamous cell carcinoma is mainly caused by ultraviolet light exposure, which leads to uh, DNA damage and uh, mutation load. So, the word extremely high mutation load ka matlab ye hai, ke if this is for example your basement membrane, and these are the epithelial cell which are divided into different layers, you know, and this is then the dermis. So, this is epidermis and this is dermis. And if there is a cell which becomes uh, or which harbors any mutation and then there is a clone of cells which say divide okay further mutations develop only so multiple cells will have mutation and this is what we call high mutation burden right the word aapko samajna as one might imagine patients with rare disorder xeroderma pigmentosum which disrupts repair of ultraviolet induced DNA damage are an extremely exceptionally high risk. Now, what is this? This is very important. This is very important that there is a skin condition which is called xeroderma pigmentosum. Uh, this condition, mein what happens is that usually in our body, mein when, you know, you cannot avoid ultraviolet light. So, ultraviolet radiations are always there. Or in ultraviolet radiation, ki se, suppose this is a cell, and this cell can have a mutation or DNA mismatch or DNA damage hota hai. to us DNA damage ko repair karne ke liye we have the machinery if that machinery is not working properly then these persons develop a condition called xeroderma pigmentosum and they are at high risk of uh, developing cancer because DNA damage ko control karne ke liye mechanisms are not working okay P53 which is uh, also called cellular guardian um, controls the cell cycle. Its mutations are very common. Hai. And then there are also mutations in the RAS pathway. So these are associated with high risk of cancer. There can also be loss of function mutation in notch receptor. So these are all tumor suppressor genes. So if tumor suppressor gene, as the name indicates, they try to suppress the tumor. If they are not functioning, then the tumor is not suppressed and tumor actually happens. So this is the easy way to remember this. Immunosuppression, particularly in organ transplant recipients, is associated with an increase in incidence of cutaneous squamous cell carcinoma as well. So this is another population which is uh, very much prone. Kidney transplant, bone marrow transplant, any sort of transplantation patients uh, require immunosuppression as part of their normal therapeutic regime. So they are also prone to getting these cancers. Okay, And then there is a group who are um, chronically exposed to carcinogen such as persons who are working in uh, oil industry or color industry or tar industry. So they have like chronic exposure of uh, different chemicals which can cause cancer. Okay. How do these patients present clinically invasive squamous cell carcinoma of the skin often are discovered while small and resectable. So they become apparent on the skin. The diagnosis is kind of a spot diagnosis. Also histopathology is available uh, and the treatment and the five year survival rates are good. So these patients can be treated. Less than 1% will have metastasized to regional lymph node. Now that is where at the time of diagnosis, if there is cancer, uh, for example, in local area, say, lymph nodes have metastasized or in any other area, now that's metastasis and this is distant spread of the tumor and this is difficult to treat. Okay. Tumor arising from actinic keratosis may be locally aggressive but generally metastasize only after a long period of time. So, you know, there are some pre neoplastic uh, conditions as well. One of them is actinic keratosis, and if squamous cell carcinoma arises from this, they look bad, they look aggressive, but usually they do not metastasize easily. Okay, so that's the good news about them. Now, while those arising in burn scars, ulcers, or non sun exposed areas, uh, of the skin often have become more aggressively. So these are general patterns observed. Squamous cell carcinoma arising in the internal sites. I mean, squamous cells are not only present in the skin, by the way. They are also present in other parts of the body, such as your lung, esophagus, anal canal, pharynx. 
um, they are generally invasive but squamous cell carcinoma on the skin are usually not that aggressive okay so uh, internal sites may have squamous cell carcinoma develop hoga. so this is more aggressive possibly because unlike the skin early early lesions go unrecognized and that makes sense so imagine that you are dealing with a squamous cell carcinoma for a person which is on skin this will be visible aapko foreign nazar aa jayega pata chal jayega as compared to esophagus mein agar koi lesion hai wo kaise dekhenge wo to nazar nahi aayega to chunke nazar nahi aayega to uski diagnosis late hogi aur diagnosis agar late hogi to obviously uska sara uh, uh, it go unnoticed basically you miss it and once you miss it here's the problem it gets metastasized and it becomes difficult to treat okay we also have to spend some time understanding the morphology of a squamous cell carcinoma they uh, usually start as an in situ lesion in situ lesion ka matlab ye hai ki they start invading the basement membrane first and uh, microscopically squamous cell carcinoma in situ is characterized by atypical cells and this is what happens in the beginning cells become atypical they become dysplastic then they become metaplastic and tumor एडवांस अगर स्क्वामस सेल कार्सिनोमा है देन दे कैन बी ग्रॉस अल्सरेशन ऑफ द स्किन एज यू सी हेयर सो दिस इज अ ग्रॉस अल्सरेशन यू कैन क्लियरली सी दिस इज समथिंग रॉन्ग एंड नॉट लुकिंग गुड सच ट्यूमर्स शो वेरिएबल डिग्री ऑफ डिफरेंसिएशन सो दे कैन बी वेल डिफरेंशिएटेड विच मीन्स दे लुक लाइक नॉर्मल स्किन दे कैन बी पुअर डिफरेंशिएटेड विच मीन्स यू कैन नॉट आइडेंटिफाई इफ दिस इज द स्किन टिश्यू दे आर सो बैड एंड देन समथिंग इन द मिडल विच इज कॉल मॉडरेटली डिफरेंशिएटेड and there is a uh, huge characterization because these are epithelial cells you will see areas of necrosis all these are part of uh, histopathological findings okay so important stuff is squamous cell carcinoma next video mein i will focus on uh, basal cell carcinoma which is another very important skin tumor so take care of yourself till i see you in the next video